I have limited time. Let me just ask you something else. What percent of CDC employees are vaccinated? Hello, freedom lovers, and welcome back. I think it's time that we move beyond conspiracy theories or not and really try to look back and pay attention at the things that happen. I mean, we're in a situation right now where people are talking about mistakes were made or mistakes weren't made. I think to best answer that, we just need to go back again and really pay close attention to the things that happened in the past three years, looking at what questions were asked or what questions were not permitted to be asked, and also what answers were given to the questions that were asked. And a good example of that is what we are seeing right here. Take a look. I have limited time. Let me just ask you something else. What percent of CDC employees are vaccinated? We're actively encouraging vaccination in all of our employees and doing a lot of education and outreach in order to get our agency fully vaccinated. And the, but the percent? I, I don't have that for you today. I'm told that 75, to, um, some north of 75% of CDC employees at headquarters are still working remotely. Is that correct? Um, we are following uh, regulations through HHS and the federal government. No, that's not my question. Hmm. So were mistakes made or mistakes not made? I know many of you saw the video the last time we uploaded it. And the question has always been, why wouldn't she answer the questions to begin with? Of course, we really know this strategy and it's not new looking at in these hearings. That's why for the most part, they're actually boring, even though this one was quite interesting. You know, the number of words she can speed out. If we're talking about mistakes being made, I think a prerequisite for that is, first of all, honesty. That means you're, you're honestly in the dark. And if you're honestly in the dark, then you can say, well, right now we are 10% and we're working to make that better or 0%. But we hope that the fact that it's dodge, deflect, talk on something else, dodge, deflect, talk on something else, that doesn't really win the trust to think, okay, there was really uh, a condition of being in the dark here and really honestly trying to figure things out. When her boss can make statements like, I am the science, we're no longer at the point of, I'm honestly trying to figure things out as everyone else and I could make mistakes. No, it's at the point of you shut up and get this stuff and know what I'm talking about and there is no chance on earth I can make a mistake. Or what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Do you think mistakes were made or do you think this is just some form of new way to roll over, play dead and hope that everyone forgets about all the things that most people were subjected to in the past couple of years. I apologize to be rude, but, but, but I'm asking a very straightforward question. I've been told that north of 75% of employees at, at, at CDC headquarters are working remotely. Is that correct? Senator, I don't actually know the number off the top of okay, my when head. When you look so down the to... hallway, are there empty desks? Are over 50% of the desks empty? Senator, I don't have the numbers off the top of my head. What I will tell you is that we're working closely within HHS and the administration to follow the governmental rules for return to the <laughs> For a second there, you could think perhaps she was not understanding the question. So there is no doubt whether there is an understanding or the IQ is there. The question has to be dumbed down to the kindergarten level. When you look down the hall, are the seats empty? I think it's clear that she couldn't answer because she herself was never there to actually look and see whether the halls were empty or not. So whether you believe in conspiracy or not, the facts are that once you're engaging in new territory, which was pretty much new territory for everyone, or was it, then there's an approach that you take that says, okay, I could be wrong tomorrow and maybe you guys will have to acknowledge that I did the best I could with the little information I had. But it's different from I am in charge, I am the truth, you got to do exactly what I'm telling you to do. And then now when the things begin to backfire, think, no, I'm innocent, you know, I did the best I could. It's difficult to swallow in that lie. But let us know in the comments, you know, what do you think? Were mistakes made? Were mistakes made? And can someone please tell me why this things go on if they're never going to answer the questions? Why do we bother have, having to sit and watch all this kindergarten merry-go-round playing around? I ask you, you dodge, you ask me, I dodge and reflect. What indeed does it bring? So, well, someone might actually argue that whether mistakes were made or not made, the fact is just like we've seen over and over in history, no one is going to face any consequences for anything. So perhaps we should just move ahead. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Check out these other videos and I'm sure you're going to find them quite interesting. Until the next video, stay free.